Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll talk about how we can add the chatbot to our Experience Cloud site. So in the previous videos, if you had seen, we have completed the step-by-step -step procedure how to create the instant chatbot and then how we can add it to the Visual Force uh, page. But in this, we'll create a site and we'll add the chatbot into that website and then we'll see how the cases are coming into the omni channel so first uh, i would recommend if you haven't created the chatbot you can view the previous videos uh, let's get started let's see how what are the configurations we have done in this org and how we gonna add the chatbot to the experience cloud site so first i'm gonna show you uh, we have this omni channel in this we have two present status one is for available chat which will be receiving from the website and this is busy and offline okay now we'll go to uh, let's just make this online for now let me refresh so i will make this online okay this is done here now we'll go to setup in setup we'll just show how what are the things we have configured so first is routing configuration so in routing configuration you can see we have this routing configuration and this in routing configuration we have added this chat queue uh, this is a queue which we have created this chat queue is based on the supported object as messaging session which will route the cases from the website to our omni channel otherwise when we want to uh, do it from the case so we use case object but here we need to use messaging session only and then queues we have seen then we'll see uh, messaging setting messaging setting so here in this messaging setting i have created this uh, chatbot message by using the in-app and web message so here you can go to a uh, new channel and when you go here you can use this messaging for in-app and web so you can use this and you can create this channel okay you can see the configuration in the previous uh, videos if you haven't and then after this we have created embedded service deployment so embedded service deployment you can see here so this is our embedded service and let's just see this is the code for the chatbot you can add this code a piece of code your, to your website wherever you want to add the chatbot or uh, here one more thing we have is just test messaging so if you'll go here you'll see if your chatbot is working properly or not so it is just a test uh, page so here if the chatbot occurs that means our chatbot is working fine it is appearing that same chatbot we will add it to the customer uh, sorry apps experience website so this is coming right now so let's go and uh, create a site so this in this org i have already created some sites so if you are doing it for the first time you need to go to sites and you need to enable if one checkbox will be there you need to enable that after which is done uh, if you have done this then uh, when you create the uh, embedded service deployment in that this channel this experience site will be automatically created for you and these are the sites uh, first and third one which i have created so this is our coming here now uh, i'll tell you what to do here so we, you need to go to all sites okay and then these are the two sites i have created you can go to new and you can create for your own uh, for now we'll open one chatbot so let's open chatbot site so this is my experience cloud site and you can see that uh, my chatbot is not available here right so we'll add it so what you need to do first thing is you need to copy this url till dot com so copy this after copying you need to open this builder 
whatever site you are using you need to open the builder and then and then you need to uh, while this is opening let's just do this part so go to uh, setup and open trusted urls after going to trusted urls you need to create new trusted url and give a chatbot chatbot site and add the url and remove the this and then you need to keep this all and then checkbox this all and then save okay you need to remove the space and save after this is done you need to go to course CORS and here you need to add the URL so go to new add the URL remove the slash and save this is also done now you need to go to sites which I had shown before so here after this you have this this is your website right so you need to go here and then you need to add it into the trusted domain for inline frames add domain and then here you can add your site and save and one more site you need to add it into the ESW chatbot message here also you need to add the same URL so go here go to add domain and add it into this and save after this is done you need to go to the builder and go to settings before settings what you need to do is you need to add the chatbot here right so go to the components part search for embedded embedded messaging and add it into the footer so let's add it into content header and let's add it into the template footer okay when you add this a pop-up will appear and whatever the uh, embedded web service you have it will come up here so for our or we have only one so only one is coming you can select from the uh, pick list if you have many so for this we have this and all the points are coming uh, fetching here and we have this we will make this always visible and then I will go to settings and in settings you need to go to advanced show all components you need to check and then security and privacy in this you need to change it to the relaxed CSP after changing you need to add the trusted site so the copy one which we had copied you need to paste it here so after this you need to add site right all those things are done now what you need to do you can see it is appearing now we need to publish this we'll publish this is published now we'll see here we'll refresh
seems like this is not coming if sometimes uh, the chatbot is not coming you need to open the inspector so control shift i and see if you are getting any error so it says that you have this error here right no access control origin so what you need to do is just add this site to your course okay. go to course open here and save oh this is already added so this is already added let's see here we'll again open this site now you can see the chatbot it is coming right so chatbot is uh, available here in the uh, experience cloud site and uh, this is how you can add the chatbot to your website the, when you whenever you will open this chatbot this will send the request to the omni channel and the agent can con, uh, connect with the customer so uh, this is all about this video and uh, in the summary uh, you can just keep the uh, things in mind that you need to add this url till dot com to a few of the places like trusted urls course and sites whichever sites you have crea uh, created and also uh, in the esd which you have created the one which i had showed you shown here the this one in this you need to add it into the trusted domain and also in the builder part uh, just a minute so if i'll open this builder If I'll go here, so uh, in the security part, in the trusted site, uh, you need to add this URL and uh, you need to make the, uh, see here, here you need to add it into the trusted uh, site and this you need to make it relaxed, relaxed CSV and the chatbot will work accordingly and uh, there won't be any problem. So this is how it is done. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much.